Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a fragrance from the house of Byron. As you have seen from the title today, we are exploring the world of Byredo. This is a niche brand, or I don't know if you would call it like an upper designer brand. It is, you know, in its niche category, as I do manufacture cosmetics. They also do manufacture fragrances. Uh, they are a fairly new house. They're not, you know, as old as something like Guerlain or Creed, but they have been around since I believe 2010, 2007-ish, somewhere around that range. And it is a very popular house at the moment. They are very much known for Mojave Ghost, I think it's called. They also are big with Gypsy Water. Um, they have quite a bit of different popular scents out there that are very much loved and adored and have a cult following. And I decided to go for a fragrance because one of you guys commented that you guys wanted to see this fragrance and to see more of their unknown fragrances. And the one that we have today is La Tulipe. So this is what the box looks like. It is very nice. I will say that it's very premium, very luxury, but in a very modern way. So on the side, just so you do see, they do have two stickers on here. Now, this was my first package directly from Byredo, but they actually do have this already open. So you don't actually have to slice this itself. It's kind of like laser cut, if you can see there. Um, and then on the front, you do get a very nice textured paper. At the back, you get the logo for the brand and some information. And then you get your barcode at the bottom as well. You slide this guy off and voila, the big B for Byredo. And at the back, it does have it written out as well. Very nice luxury packaging. Like I said, it's very modern, very simplistic, but in a very luxurious way. Very nice cardboard as well. And then you open it and you get your bottle. Et voila, very beautiful. In this little envelope, I know a lot of people use this to spray the fragrance for the first time. You can use it for that, but it actually has some information from the creator and the brand itself. And here is the bottle. So it's a very simplistic bottle. I think that the design is nice. I don't think it's the nicest out there, but I think for aesthetic pleasing purposes, if you have a very minimal lifestyle, it is a brand that does fall within that category and it does fit in with a lot of other fragrances or your style, if you will. So yes, it's a glass round bottle all around. It doesn't say anything on the inside with the actual sticker, but you do get this nice textured eyes logo here and the label so la tulip is a fragrance that was created in 2010 it doesn't have the actual perfumer listed where i am looking this up at the moment but it was a 2010 release it is considered to be a feminine fragrance obviously with it being called tulip it is going to be a floral fragrance but this fragrance is very unique it captures the essence of freshly blooming tulips in the spring it is bright it is effervescent it is happy it is a fragrance that does you know change your mood if you will now here's a really quick thing and i want to give this disclaimer because a lot of people out there do overhype things and you know when you go and smell certain brands and you're like thinking wow they're going to be chef's kiss they're going to be great they are great. The problem is that a lot of people overhype these brands and I think that we kind of tend to get disappointed. This was my experience with the brand the first time I did do a review on this channel with Black Saffron. It was my first purchase. I was very much let down. To me, Black Saffron smells like Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton, another one that was overhyped and I did not care for. But this fragrance itself is nice. It is beautiful, but it's not going to be the most unique thing out there. I think that they were not going for the most unique fragrance out on the market. They were trying to go for something that was going to be likable. That was going to be was going to be very much a people pleasing fragrance. And I think that this one has hit that mark. It is likable. It is fresh. It is happy. It is vibrant. It is delicate and uplifting. This fragrance is very much a very beautiful floral, but it's a fresh floral. The top notes for this fragrance are going to be cyclamen, freesia, and rhubarb. The middle notes for this fragrance are listed as tulip. And then we have a base of blonde woods and vetiver. So like I said, yeah, this fragrance is very fresh. It is delicate. It is uplifting. It is a fragrance that is going to be kind of like a sparkly type of floral. It's very much a spring fragrance all around. I don't know if anyone has traveled to parts of Europe where the actual tulips do tend to bloom and they do have a smell to them. 
it's not going to smell just like this fragrance it does reminisce of those smells in those gardens when the tulips are blooming you know there's that wet dewy type of water on the grass it's early in the morning that's what this reminds me of like i said it's a very springy fresh floral fragrance i think it's very delicate very likable but it's not the most unique the longevity on this is actually fairly good i was very surprised because with black saffron i should say that black saffron also did have a great projection and it did have really nice longevity as well this one does too so if they have anything going for them or they actually i shouldn't say that because a brand does do some pretty good fragrances but they do have longevity they do have performance in the world where expensive perfumes do not have longevity or performance and i say that with you know a lot of confidence there's a lot of other brands like <clears throat> tom ford and killian which are very expensive that don't have longevity or projection beautiful fragrances don't get me wrong but the longevity and the performance are just not there but this one you do get that and it's very difficult to find a fresh floral fragrance that is going to have that because it's either going to be you know fresh and not have the longevity and performance or it's going to be deep and be overpowering and i think that this one is a perfect combination of both. Oh, yeah, what do you guys think of Le Tulip? Do you think it's a really good fragrance? Do you like Byredo? Let me know what other fragrances you would like to see. And I do want to thank the people that have commented that they want to see certain fragrances. I am working on it. It does take some time. It does, you know, take some planning, obviously, because I don't have an unlimited budget to go and buy everything out there at once. But I am trying to get every review that you guys want to see out there as quickly and as timely as possible but thank you so much for everyone that has been viewing the channel i do appreciate everyone's support i do appreciate anyone that takes the time to comment it is very nice to see everyone interact with me when it comes to fragrance it's obviously a passion i love fragrance and i do see that a lot of you guys also love fragrance and it's very nice to connect through the world of fragrance you know and really find things we have in common but yes i do like it i do recommend it it is a little pricey. I will say that the price point for this one itself is 290 US dollars for 100 mils or 3.4 fluid ounces. That gives you a price per mil of $2.90. Or you can also get a 50 mil or 1.7 ounce bottle for the price of 205 US dollars. So obviously for 80 bucks, you're going to get double the size, I would say, you know, to save your coin if you really like a fragrance out there by the house of iredo and get the bigger one it's a little silly at that point to even get the small one you're kind of throwing money away but you know i get if you're not able to i understand or if you're trying to collect multiple ones like myself there are also pretty good deals on this i did get this one through costco and i just wanted to let you know not sponsored but if you do have a costco membership they do have some pretty good deals out there with some fragrances definitely check that out but thanks so much for watching today's video you guys let me know down in the comments what else you would like to see let me know also what you thought of today's review also make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fragrance related content and i hope to see you on the next video